guys, and welcome to the second video uploaded today, because I stupidly didn't post. And, my one year anniversary is coming up, and the next video is going to be in the last video, so, might as well go over my vinyl collection so far, and, uh, yeah, show you what I got in the collection. So, today, we're just going to be going over all these, this finals. Uh, okay. I have two unpackaged ones that I have two of, and that is the, uh, Guantanamera album, which I will be talking about later, because I actually have the open version, uh, actually open. It's, it's, this one's still in its plastic, and it's from, like, 1976 or something like that. I'm gonna put that one back there, and, uh, that got to use cinema nickel. And, uh, this... It's my kid's music one, you know, this is a, uh, 1988 release for stereo. Uh, we have just a bunch of kid's music. I'll also be talking about this one later because I have an open copy of it. So I'm gonna put that back and let's talk about the things I have one copy of. And that is my... Uh, record for for this for singing and dancing beer drinking songs by the Zillert Zillert L band. Yeah, I kind of want to do a review on this. I'm gonna start doing vinyl reviews. I'm gonna make a new channel called the Vinyl Reviewer, guys. I'm the Vinyl Reviewer now. Anyway. Disney's Davy Crockett, The Three Adventures of, I have, I have no clue what's, there's no songs listed, can't actually wait to listen to that, cause we have another Davy Crockett album, it's stuck to something, god damn it, come on Davy Crockett, come on, stuck, uh, we have Davy Crockett, Ray Sprinter's Tale. That's our other Davy Crockett album, I guess you should say. Again, there's no track listings, so I don't know. Alright, we have a Tennessee Ernie Ford album. You'll be seeing one of those later. Because I have another one. It's by Capitol Records. Screw you. Fucking copyright strikes sluts. Now, it's a stereo. And it's Christmas favorites. And actually, I see some songs I like on here. And this actually feels like a new record, except for the fact that there's some different right there. I'm gonna listen to this, and I'll tell you, give you my final thoughts. But I need to, I, over this next year, I might just post my, uh, some vinyl reviews, as well as some other videos. But here we go, we have the Battle of New Orleans. This is a record? Huh. That's interesting. Oh, you know what? I think it's the theme songs of all these. 50. So that's a fucking 50 songs. Boom! I'm gonna listen to that. And like, next. The next up we have. This is an old freaking uh, 1950s release, and there is no sleeves. There are just literally two sleeveless records. I... Is this... Oh lord, this this record is also scratched. Pretty good. Guys, so I'm just gonna put it back. I hope this is work. I see some songs on there. This, that's just the soundtrack to the Mary Poppins film. We have. The Goofy Film. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Great goes. This is another Disney Channel show. I ignore the, the thing that says Matt on it. Because he's one of our family friends. You know what I mean? I told you, this is not the last appearance of Davy Crockett out here. And this is a Davy Crockett album. I don't know what it's called. 
There's a legitimately crack in the case, but this is a cool backwards air, so I guess that's something. Okay. Next up, we have Someone Loves You, Honey by Charlie Pratt. Looks like there's six, only six songs on this record. Oh, never mind, there's more. There's a side A and B. Hmm. Hmm. This actually seems like blues. I'm not into blues, but I mean, I'll still listen to it when there's nothing else to listen to, which uh, I have plenty of things to listen to. Disney's 13 all time Christmas favorites. Whoa. Okay. And I like all these songs, so you already know this is gonna be a Christmas favorite for me, and I might listen to this when it's not Christmas. Do. We have another Christmas song from one well, album from Advent to Christmas. Yeah. Now this is a completely new release, probably a 2006 release, and it just feels new. Like if you touch it. Mm. From Advent to Christmas, Church Oak Flair, and the song listings up there. That's most certainly another Christmas thing I'm going to be watching. And that was not the last United States of America thing, because we have Happy Birthday, America. That's right. Get the song listing. This is an amazing cover. Jesus Christ. How many good covers will there be? Oh, oh, people, people are texting. Hmm. People are texting me. Stop, sec fuck, stop texting me while I'm doing a video, people. Okay. All right. Here is our next one. We have Happy Christmas Carols. Yes, guys, happy Christmas carols. Hmm. Next up, we have the Hobbit soundtrack, guys. This is another one I'm going to be... I need to listen to all of these. You know what? I need to listen to all these records. I need to. It's a need, Dad. It is a need. Understand? Oh, well, be careful with that. I will. I know. I, I am being careful. I am making sure the cases are in and the records stay in the sleeves. Anyway, the Hobbit sound. Wait. This is not the official Hobbit soundtrack. This is the animated Hobbit soundtrack. This is not the official Hobbit soundtrack. How dare you? You lied to me. Eh, I'm still gonna listen to it, but I just wish it was the originals. Um, the Beatles, Abbey Road. This is not the last time we're gonna see a Beatles album on here, so I'm just gonna leave it with that. No, certainly I'm gonna listen to this. It's obvious. And then the last Beatles album here is The White Album by The Beatles. Obviously, another listen to for me. Alright. The Carpenters, Ticket to Ride, with the Beatles' Ticket to Ride cover and more. Huh. You know, I actually listen to this, and it's not as good. I, I listened to this once. All the way through. Yeah. It's in the soundtrack. Our next one is the Annie Get Your Gun soundtrack. That's an amazing soundtrack, by the way. I've listened to the whole thing all the way through. Talking about soundtracks, we have the original Star Wars soundtrack. With four sides, guys. If you want me to do a review of this, leave a thumbs up in the chat. Yeah. Star Wars official soundtrack. Look at this cover. I'm in love with it. I'm going to put it back now on the shelf, because our next one is The Music Machine, which I'm pretty sure it's a bunch of Bee Gees, because it just literally chose the Bee Gees right there. 
I see some songs I like on this, but I like the cover album, like art more. So I'll put that. Here is my opened up Guantanamera album. Yeah, this is a good album. Oh, no, no worry. No, I can't do this video anymore. <laughs> Never mind. I hope I'm talking loud enough so you can not hear the music in the background. Guys, I swear to God, this video is got me. Yeah, it's okay. Guantanamera is a good album. I've listened to it once all the way through. Like I said earlier. I hope. I think. Yeah, I listened to it once all the way through. Christmas with the King family. I'm not going to talk about this until Christmas because, I mean, this is Christmas songs. Christmas stuff. I'm putting it there for a reason. Yeah. And next is the Little Drummer Boy soundtrack on vinyl, guys. I'm just going to quickly go through the last one because we're almost done with the collection. And this video is already getting long enough, so, yeah. That's obviously a need for Christmas again. I mean, I, I, I've i seen a lot of Christmas, so. Next is the Edinburgh Military Tattoo t Stereo, including Amazing Grits, which is one of my favorite songs of all time. So I can't wait to listen to this album. It's called that... I have no clue what this band actually is, but I can't wait to listen to it. I'm putting it back on the shelf. Irish Songs Part 1. This is not the last Irish song thing you will see. Living Voices sing Irish songs, and Danny Boy's on here. It's amazing. So, yeah. I'm actually going to listen to this. But it's past St. Patrick's Day already. So, here comes the uh, other Irish thing. Irish Song Festival. Guys, and it's a Decent song. So, yeah. There are some good songs on there, actually. I already see a uh, good song on the first side. And I can't wait to listen to that album. And here's the other album I have an extra copy of. We have my kids' music. I'm not going to say much about it, but I'm going to watch. I'm gonna, obviously going to listen to this album. So, I'm going to put it back on the shelf. The best of John Lee Hooker. I'm going to do my John Lee Hooker collection soon, guys. So, yeah, I have this on uh, record now, so, yeah, guys, uh, that's um, a definite listen to for me. Uh, polka favorites. Eh, I'm not a big fan of polka, but I think I might listen to this at least once all the way through, you know, just to make sure. If, if I like any of the songs, I'll obviously do a review and say I like them, but... I mean, I'm not a fan of polka, so yeah. And now, next up is our final Christmas thing. All Tanan Christmas in the Rhine. Look at this cover art. I mean, amazing. This is also another thing I'm going to be reviewing near Christmas time or whenever. I mean, I can list, I can review it now and act like it is Christmas. And the final thing, and the final Tennessee Ernie Ford Hi, is Tennessee Ernie Ford Hines. I'm obviously listening to it. I see some good songs on it. So, yeah, guys. That that was my... Wait, let me pause it quickly. That was my record collection. Hope you enjoyed. Some of my favorites are Abbey Road and the White Album from the Beatles, Guantanamera. I would most certainly give a check out. And the... Uh, and you get your gun soundtrack as well as the Star Wars soundtrack and the best of John Lee Hooker. See you guys next time and the kid music. See you guys next time when I probably do an unboxing video or a CD haul. Bye.